different than the thyroid. The thyroid has these big follicles all over the place. Parathyroid looks rather granular in appearance, but it's full of these little cells, which unfortunately are called chief cells. Where do we see chief cells before? I'm going to use that term. In the gastric glands of the stomach, remember, they're the ones that produce the hormone, not the hormone, the uh, digestive enzyme, pepsinogen, converted to pepsin by the hydrochloric acid in the parietal cells. But unfortunately, these are called chief cells. And what you see here is the granular appearance of the nuclei of these chief cells. And they produce parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid gland, parathyroid hormone, produced by these chief cells. And their function is the opposite of calcitonin. You look at the top of uh, the next page of your handout, parathyroid gland, parathyroid hormone, okay, from the chief cells. This elevates calcium ion levels in the blood. It stimulates osteoclast activity. These are cells, again, that break down the organic, inorganic bone matrix, so it puts more calcium ions in the blood. It also stimulates the kidneys to reabsorb more calcium ions, also to absorb more calcium from the food in your intestine, and also to form calcitriol, which is vitamin D3. As you probably know, vitamin D is needed for the absorption of calcium. Often if you have a vitamin D deficiency, you've got a calcium deficiency as well, especially in children. That's why it's so important that children have adequate, not only calcium in their diet, but also vitamin D. This is also why many dairy products are fortified. Milk, cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, and so on are fortified with vitamin D, usually A as well. Because of course, the major hardening agent of your teeth and your bones are calcium salts, calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate. But again, this is calcitriol, not calcitonin. Calcitriol is vitamin D3. Now you've heard you lay out in the sun and you get vitamin D. Well, you get a precursor to vitamin D. That's carried to the kidneys. The kidneys actually make the vitamin D3, which is the more effective form of what you get from laying out in the sun. Okay? All right, so again, parathyroid hormone elevates calcium ion levels of blood encourages breakdown of calcium salts in the bone matrix by encouraging osteoclast activity, causing the kidneys to reabsorb more calcium ions from renal filtrate, stimulates the production of cal cal <coughs> calcitriol, vitamin D3 by the kidneys, and thus absorption of more calcium from your food and your intestines. So overall effect, elevate calcium ion levels. Calcitonin, lower calcium ion levels. Calcitonin produced by the parafollicular cells in the thyroid, Chief cells produce the parathyroid hormone, parathyroid glands. Okay, there is another cell type. They're not as common as the chief cells.